Hello and welcome to WhatMap for City Skylines, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. There are thousands of items on the workshop now, so finding the right one for your next city build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review some using our 5-star rating and the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines Explorers, as we venture out to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. Bon Bon here, how are you doing? And I hope you had a really good weekend. Well, Monday's the day when we normally go straight to the top of the workshop and find what's flying high, but we did miss a map a little while ago, and I figured today was a good day to review it. But before we do that, let me tell you about tonight's Skylines talk. Well, we're talking to one of the best map makers that's out there. Um, one that's very prolific as well, turns out an awful lot of stuff. It, of course, is Icania. So if you uh, want to find out uh, a little bit about Icania, we had two interviews. We did uh, one, and then we came back a couple of weeks later and did a top-up one because he'd had his DMCA strike, which uh, we'll cover a little bit in today's episode. So um, if you want to find out about that, then tonight, 6 p.m. UK time and forever onwards after that because it's YouTube, Skylines Talk. Right, today's map is uh, it's a, it's a stonker. It's a nice one. It's Spring Pine Rapids by, oh, it's that guy, Icania. What was the chances of that? 100% probably. <laughs> I've set this up, obviously, um, just to tie it in with tonight's show. There's your start square. Very busy looking start square. Uh, resources, though, I'm finding a little bit meh. It's kind of set up for detailing more, I would suggest, than an actual regular build. Onto the workshop, it's the Norway Spruce, the Tall Grass Clusters, the Indian Grass and the Cleandros Bordelone theme. Um, very, very sweet. We're also using our, one of our cinematic LUTs as well. And uh, yeah, the Cleandros uh, theme was originally the Spring Pine theme, but it's been corrected because that's uh, the one that got the DMCA strike. Let's have a quick look at this low bridge. Low bridge, but no clipping through of the street lamp. That's brilliant. So yes, uh, he got the DMCA strike for, uh, for a texture they shouldn't have been using. And uh, so yeah, if you want to find out a little bit more about that and the process, etc., then uh, say join us tonight. That'll be uh, it's going to be a very interesting show. And like I say, this is a guy who's produced us so many stunning maps, like this one, that uh, down the slope here and across the uh, across the rail. And his maps are always uh, more of a fantasy feel. Now we're going to do a little bit of a swap over here, I think. Right, we've got uh, these two um, two sets of tunnels, these magic tunnels that he does a lot. Rather than head up, we're going to cut across. We're going to take the wrong route, because I want to take this route. A little bit more interesting than the other route. And then down here to this very... what is, I don't know if it's busy, untidy, ugly. Um, it's definitely working. It's a, definitely a smooth intersection. It looks a, just, uh, I don't know, I think it's just an ugly. Not, not his fault, though. Uh, I don't like the three lanes merging into three lanes. That, for me... It's a bit of a no-no. Not so bad three lanes coming off of three lanes, but three lanes merging into three lanes just seems a bit wrong. Um, anyway, we've got uh, these flat tiers that are um, plateaued out and makes it very easy to build, of course, when you've got flat tiers to work with. Once again, another very low rail bridge. Just checking for street lamp clipping and nothing going on there. That's brilliant. Once again, great work. Nothing down this end either good stuff it's a it's a stunning map and look at the mountains i will have a look at the mountains after the break obviously but um the detail icania's detailing is just insane and the colors and the design the design as well of his maps um his maps are very playable if you don't mind <laughs> building over beautifully designed yeah some people don't like destroying beauty and uh, it's a map it's supposed to be it's just art square all these double roundabout wib wibblies here, the, the old bespectacled goat, as I like to call it. Um, perfectly fine. Nice intersection there to get you started. And we'll just cruise around here. We're going up the slope to the, ne the next level plateau. 
And then we've got one of these uh, one of these intersections here, which is fine. It is fine, but look at how low that is. That is low, and you can know what's going to happen here. If you're unlucky, which he is, there, street lamps, clipping through. And this is a plopped intersection. You'll f we'll see another one of these a bit later on, and it's got exactly the same problem. And of course, when you plop an intersection down, you are at the hands of the intersection creator, unless you adjust it yourself. And when you don't adjust it, you're almost guaranteed to lose that 50 tailing star. And I'm afraid that's what's going to happen today. Down here to one of these other magic tunnels. Where the heck is that going to? All right, okay, over there. And uh, let's come back out of that screen. Uh, uh, get rid of that. Now, thank you. Down here. And there we are, that's where it emerged. So yes, a uh, nice smoothie done. I'm say nice roads though, gotta say very nice roads. Equidistant all the way, nice and tidy. And here's that second one, identical plopped intersection. And you just know that if you're unlucky, happen to have a street lamp in the wrong place, you're gonna get exactly the same problems as before. Uh, there you are, nice low roads, nice and smooth. But there, look how much that one's sticking out. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Anyway, uh, we'll follow this on. Follow the grey tarmac road. Follow the grey tarmac road. Follow the... That doesn't work, does it? Anyway, um, more magic tunnels. Icanian loves his magic tunnels, and I love them as well. They're quite often ludicrous, and this is great. This is... You would never have guessed over there behind that, those rocks, would you? I wouldn't have. Um, and uh, shall we? Yeah, we'll go left. We'll follow it left. What we got here? Uh, oh, we got this swirly intersection, which means we're back to where we started. This is where we came in. Okay, shall we, maybe should we do some rail? Should we do some rail? Shall we? Yeah, go on. Oh, we're coming the same route again. So we had this little smooth ramp up here, terraformed up, nice and low across the road there, and back down to ground level again. Shouldn't be too many problems here, because like I say, the land is pretty flat most of the way. I've got to say, I find these little raised plateaus for the uh, support of the rail a little bit on the ugly side. And I don't, I stick in the comments if you agree with me. I'm not not a big fan of those. Um, I'm, I'm all for supporting the rail using Terraform. This is better. Nice and smooth and it just feels more, more real. And this just feels, I don't know, a bit... I oh, know. Fake? Fake's not the word I'm looking for. I don't know. It's more its more like a model railway, I guess, when you're doing that. And uh, I don't know. I, f I feel it takes away a lip from the aesthetic of the map. Where the hell's that going to? Oh, I see it. It's over there. Right. Um, we'll follow this down. Um, we can't go left. It's a right turn only here. So we'll follow the right. Okay. This is such a nice looking map. Though. The colours... The colours and design is really, really smart and very playable. May have been some trees on the line there. I missed that. I'll go back and have a look a little bit later. But um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll roll on, and then we've got this raised across that brook, and then off to the fog. Ooh, so much going on for Kenya's maps. Now, all oh, speaking of so much going on, this has got a lot going on. It's the North Philadelphia Station by Dono Teat Do not Oh I don't know. I can never get do, do not do no tat. That was it. Do no tat. Anyway, this is beautiful. Okay? Having said that, it's fiddly as you know. It's fiddly as that word beginning with I had huge problems. The reason why it's not connected to any further railways, just to uh, demonstrate things I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it. Everything was like clipping and it was being a nightmare. Yes, you do need fine road anarchy or fine rail or something. I don't know. I've forgotten. It was day or three ago when I recorded this. But it's worth looking at. And if you are an experienced Skyliner, this railway station is freaking amazing. But um, you've got to be a better player than me, which will be most of you. <laughs> I have no skills. This is why I talk. <laughs> I can barely talk. 
North Philadelphia Station by Do Notat. <laughs> and so on to this week's theme and LUT review. Celtic Coast by Mr Miyagi with the Rain Day LUT is what we're having a look at all of this week. And the factoids. When scientists first started to put together the dinosaur fossils they've found, they got them wrong. For many years the Iguanodon was exhibited on all fours with its thumb sticking out of its forehead like a horn. Now that is definitely a muck up, isn't it? <laughs> the ancient Swedes, not the vegetables, the people from Sweden, practiced euthanasia by putting their old people into earthenware jars and leaving them there to die. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. You should look at Ikanya. He's an ancient Swede. He's not that old, but uh, he, he claimed to be. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of a canyon, let's go back to his map, shall we? It's uh, shipping routes. And have we got any shipping clipping? And the answer is, for the first time in a long time, well, actually, maybe. This looks good. That looks fairly safe. Certainly probably high enough to get under there. And then we'll follow through here. This one is close, but... I reckon that's okay, just, just, we go on either side of that pillar. And then as we head down here to the fog, oh, that's all good. But we've got a second route over here. Then we follow this down through here. That one's probably okay, yeah. This one, however, might just be scraping against that pillar, possibly. And then we follow this one through. We've got more bridges here, and this is a bit of a recipe for disaster. I think we'll be crashing into that pillar on the left there. This one. Do you think? I reckon. I'm also not entirely convinced they're high enough. They might be. They might be, but I've seen those ships, and I can't be bothered to build the docks just to get things rolling. Water flow. Now, this is a Kenya. The one thing you can guarantee is water flow, because there's always lots and lots and lots of streams and rivers or waterfalls and all those sort of giblets. Um, one or two places where I don't see much in the way of motion, but uh, if you use your planning, you're thinking ahead, like there's hardly anything going on there, I'm pretty sure that you can you can get rid of your, uh, your excrement using the natural sources. Failing that, you're going to have to use an asset. And that's not the worst thing, is it? Anyway, that's that. Now let's have a look at the uh, glorious map that it is. Sorry, bad editing there again. Uh, these mountains. Uh, oh, the, th the way the theme brings the mountains out. Look at that. Look at that view through there. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Of course, separating all the mountains, you've got all this flat build plane. But it's not perfectly flat. You've got these ridges. That's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. The fog. Oh. The only thing I'm not massively keen on are these high river banks. Like these streams look glorious, but this, I said, this is ugly. I'm not liking that at all. Let's say then you got you compare that with this, and this is stunning. In fact, that has got to be a screenshot, I reckon. But yeah, if we head down this way, shall we head down this way? Yeah, might as well. Let's look at the ugly stuff rather than the pretty stuff, because the pretty stuff we almost goes without saying with it, can you? But these river banks. I mean, I know why they're this high. I don't like them. And they con contrast that with this beauty over here. Ugly beauty. The detailing, the quality of the detailing is outstanding, as always. And it's the selection, the choices of the colours and the trees. And getting the balance just right. And then choosing where he's going to have these water, these water flows, etc. running. And like little, little, um, waterfalls going on there. I say it's a fantasy setting. This isn't a realistic um, environment, but it looks pretty damn good to me. What else have we got going on today? Um, if we have a look at down the outside, I suppose, this, this is where all the mountains are. We've got this lake out on the extreme here, feeding water down, and this is where like a lot of the water flow is coming from the likes of these feeder rivers coming down through the mountains. Not an awful lot of detailing down the side of the rivers. I, I'm okay because that's way out in the fog. I'm not that worried about it out there. 
and the mountains are glorious enough anyway. Um, what else have we got? Oh, these, these riverbanks, they're bugging me. They really actually are bugging me. Um, when you've got comparisons like here, this is just so beautiful. Well, you go from one extreme to the other, and these, these, these banks are on, those, on the main river, and they're nice and low. I don't understand why. I don't. Anyway, um, what do you think? As, uh, I, I, I talk a lot. I talk a lot. And all I can ever... I, I do try and learn from your thoughts. And you can stick it in the comments below. And uh, if you agree or disagree, then it teaches me... It might, I might learn something. Aesthetically, this is a very nice looking map. I can't get over those riverbanks though. And that's going to lose the fifth star. Four stars for aesthetics for me. Detailing, pretty close to a five. Street lamps, not one, but two. Clipping through. I can't can't give a fifth star for those, I'm afraid. Four stars for detailing there. Possible shipping clipping as well. Possible. Gameplay potential. Ah, I like this. I like this. This map, set for the beginner, also for the uh, detailer. Um, if you want to play a proper organic game, maybe less so. But uh, I'm giving it five stars for gameplay potential. A Spring Pine Rapids by Icania, as usual, notching up the fours and the fives. It's reliable like that, and also reliable for the Bon Bon Bee's seal of approval. Well done, Icania, and I look forward to our little chat tonight. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Don't forget to join me tonight for Skylines Talk with Icania. Uh, tomorrow for another map in the What's Map series uh, over on Patreon, where you can vote on Friday's map and make sure I, we review a good one, of course because that is down to you guys. Join the Bon Bon Buddies over there. Yeah, it's a bit of a club. It's a little bit of a club going on. We'll have our own motto soon. I wonder what it'll be. Hmm, a Bon Bon a day keeps the... Never mind. See you tomorrow. <laughs>